Okay, welcome. This video lecture is going to be about adding, subtracting, mixed numbers. My name is Mark. Thank you for watching. So how do you add and subtract mixed numbers? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, let's start off with our first mixed number. 9 half, 9 and 1 fourth plus 9 half. So what you're going to do is, you're going to add the whole numbers. So you really have to do anything with the whole numbers. So go ahead and add the whole numbers as is and then add the fractions and do that separately. Okay, so I'm doing 9 plus 9 and then a half plus a 4. Okay, well 9 plus 9, that's pretty easy, right? We know what that is, 18. And then now we just got to figure out what 1 fourth plus 1 half is. Well, to add a fourth and a half, we need to do what? We need a common denominator. So what's the common denominator between 1 fourth and 1 half? Uh, 4. Okay. Well, this already has a 4, so this doesn't need to change. So then the 1 half needs to change. So I'm going to leave 1 fourth as is. And what is 1 half written as fourths? So 1 half written as fourth is 2 fourths. Okay. And then now what is 1 fourth plus 2 fourths? That's 3 fourths. So nine and a half plus nine and a fourth is eighteen and three fourths. So that's pretty good. All right, let's try another one. How about five and two thirds plus four and a half? Okay. So I'll do this one just like I did the last one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, line this up. Now this time I'm going to line this up vertically. So I'm going to write my four and a half underneath my two thirds. Okay. Like that. And I'm adding. And before I start my adding, I'm going to go ahead and convert this one half and this two thirds. Let's get a common denominator. So what's the common denominator between a half and a third? Well, that would be 6. So uh, I'm going to have 6 in the denominator. And now I just got to look in here and see, okay, well, 2 times what gives me 6? Well, that's 3, okay? So then I'm going to multiply the top by 3. So what is 1 times 3? 1 times 3 is 3, okay? And then over here, 3 times what gives you 6? Well, that's 2. So let's do 2 times 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. Alright. So now we're adding 5 and 4, 6, plus 5 and, plus 4 and 3, 6. So 5 plus 4 is what? 9. 4, 6 plus 3, 6, what's that? 7, 6. Okay. And then any time your numerator is bigger than your denominator, you have a what? Improper fraction. So what do I need to do? I just asked myself, how many times does 6 go into 7? Well, 6 goes into 7 one time. Okay. And then I subtract 7 minus 6, and that gives me 1, 6. So this 1 right here represents the number of times that 6 went into 7, which is 1. And then I subtracted a 6 from 7, that gave me the 1, 6. And now I add 9 plus 1, and that gives me 10 and 1 6. Okay? Alright, so 5 and 2 thirds plus 4 and a half is 10 and 1 6. Alright, let's try another one. Okay. How about 8 and a half minus one and one third. So eight and a half minus one and a third. Okay. See how we're focusing there. All right. So once again, I want to convert these two fractions so that they have the same denominator. So what is the common denominator between one half and one third? Well, that's six again. So let me copy down the eight and the one. Okay. 
and I know I want 6 in the bottom here. So I just got to ask myself, okay, 3 times what gives us 6? That's 2. Okay, so i got to multiply 1 times 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. And then 2 times what gives you 6? Well, that's 3. Okay, so I need to multiply the top by 3. So what is 1 times 3? Okay, so that's 3. So now we got 8 and 3 6 minus 1 and 2 6. Well, 8 minus 1 is what? 7. And then 3 6 minus 2 6 is what? 1 6. Alright. Any problems there? Let's try another one. How about 9 and a half minus 1 and 3 fourths?